Assalamu alaikum and hi. In this video, we're going to look into the differences between top down and also the bottom up approaches. So these are the two differences approaches to designing and implementing algorithms and also software. If you look into the top down approach, then it's an approach that start with a broad high level view of the system. That's why we have a reverse triangle here. So we start with a high level view of the system and then we slowly break it down into more detailed and specific components. So just imagine that if you are building a house, we first start by looking into the layout of the house or the overall structure of the house itself. But if we are talking about the bottom up approach, then it begins at the very detail low level end of the system. So you have a triangle here and then gradually we integrating um, these components to form larger systems. Okay, So using the same analogies where if you are building house, then we first look into all the small components such as the door, the windows and so on and so forth. Then only slowly we integrate these to form the whole house. For example, we are looking into um, develop a banking applications. If we are using the top down approach, then we will start with a high level design of the banking applications, where we're going to look into what are the essential modules or components that are required within these banking applications. So for example, uh, for banking applications, we need to have, let's say, the um, transactions uh, processing, we need to have the account management. So these are the essential models. Then from this model, then we slowly break it down into specific functions. So again, for example, if we're looking into the account management, then we might need to have functions related to authentications. Once we've identified all these, then we start to develop each of the functions uh, beginning from the top level modules and gradually moving towards the more detailed functionalities. One of the advantages of top-down approach is that we have a clear vision of what we want to develop. But there are also some shortcomings for this approach. For example, if we are using a top-down approach, then it might be less flexible compared to the bottom up approach because we have everything set up at the very beginning. Now, if we look into the bottom up approach, so we'll start with developing the basic functions that are the building blocks of the applications. And we'll group these basic functions into larger models. So compared to the top down approach, now we're going to look into some very specific um, basic functions. For example, we will first look into developing a authentications functions and then also a functions that related to assessing the database record. And then we assembly these modules into subsystem. In this case, the subsystem can be a specific module which are related to the, um, let's say, the account management. Because we know that for these account management modules, we will need to have the authentication functions and we will need to also have the database record access functions. So once the subsystem are tested and functioners, then we integrate them to form the complete banking applications, for example. So in this case, we have the um, account management subsystem ready, and then we also have the, let's say, the transactions processing uh, subsystem uh, ready, and then we're going to combine them or we're going to integrate them to form the complete banking applications. So of course, just like the top-down method, this bottom-up approach also has its own advantage and also disadvantages. Uh, one of it, for example, the advantage of bottom up is we can do early testing, right? For example, here in this case, when we develop the authentications functions, then we can test on this before we integrate it or before we combine it to build a larger model. Whereas for the disadvantage, what we can see here is we lack a clear visions because we look into only the very small functions or basic functions, then slowly we combine everything into the whole banking applications. So we might lack 
uh, clear visions at the very beginnings of the software development. So I hope through this very short video, you gain a better understandings of the differences between the top-down approach and also the bottom-up approach. Thank you very much.